as the managers of a quail ecosystem, you got to appreciate that when you pull on the quail string, other strings are affected as well. So we're interested out here at the Quail Research Ranch about monitoring this, what we call the small mammal or rodent population, the rats and mice. And we're actively trapping twice a year in different habitat types to see what kind of small mammal community we have. This is important to quail for a couple of reasons. One is because a cotton rat is about the same size as a quail, so it serves as a mammalian analog to a quail. It has the same threats as a quail. So as we monitor small mammal dynamics, we're curious to see how does that correlate with the survival of quail. Our colleagues over at the Tall Timbers Research Station in Florida and Georgia have documented a really nice relationship between the abundance of cotton rats, which is their primary type of rodent, and the abundance of Bob Whites. We're curious if we can document those same kind of relationships here on the western range of the Bob White. The way we approach this is we use what are called Sherman traps, little small live traps. We put out a grid of 25 of those, five of those in a particular habitat type. So we're looking at a total, we run those for four nights and we get a total of 500 trap nights per habitat type. We trap on eight different habitat types here at the Research Ranch. And we do that in January, February. We do it in June and July. So we get some kind of idea of the seasonal dynamics of the small mammals. What we found thus far is, is that we have certain habitats that are more productive. This sandy land, we're in a sandy land habitat right now, tends to have some of our higher small mammal populations, tends to have some of our higher quail numbers as well. So again, we're trying to document what those relationships are. And then over time, as we have a good buildup of small mammals, that indicates that we should have conditions that are ripe for a good buildup of quail. So if we have an abundant population of cotton rats and other small mammals, that tends to buffer quail from some of their predators. The hawks that come in, the coyotes, the bobcats, if they can fill up on rats, they may not be as interested in chasing down a quail. So as you go driving through your pasture, checking your cattle or following your bird dogs, anytime you see rats moving ahead of you, that's something to be thankful for and not dreaded.